to project 74 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating this tab navigation project by just using html css and javascript it feels like we are using react router but we are not using that <laughs> we are just using vanilla javascript right here so first of all we have this about section right here like my image and a little bit of description and also my name and if you just click on these courses so it now gives us this courses section right here so here you can see we have this uh html course css javascript um Golang and github course and also my new course which I didn't include right here uh, which is like 100 projects in 100 days and if I just click on this contact so it will not use all of my social media accounts right here okay so this is what we are going to be building by just using HTML CSS and JavaScript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our coder and write our code okay so if you want to follow along and you want to download these images so you can go to my github repository or you can just scroll down a bit and click on the link which is in the description below and it will bring you to my github repository and you can download these images from there anyhow it's not like <laughs> really special images but these are my the thumbnail of my courses so now let me just make it a bit bigger so that we can come on open it all right so here you can see this is my golang course and thumbnail on this is my um getting github course thumbnail this is the css one and this is the vs code one and this is the javascript one anyway so now let's just create a file the first file we are going to be creating is index.html file now let me just collapse these images and now let's just create another one which will be like style.css and now let's just create a final one which will be just app.js for javascript so now let me just make that a bit bigger so that we can just focus on our code so the first thing i would do for html is i'll just write a doc type html and i'm going to just change the title to be like tab navigation and now let's just link there to our css and also to our javascript okay so now let me just collapse this metadata from there right click on it and open it with the live server so it will now open it with the live server okay so now we are good to go so for html first of all we are going to be writing a class of like container at container inside there we are going to be writing a, just a simple container inside this container we are going to be selecting or menu links so it will be like uppercase link so now let's just select that and inside there we are going to be writing our ul li and you know i'm gonna need it to be like um three times so now let me just write that three times right here so it now gives us three li and the first one will be about the second one will be courses and the third one will be like, just like contact Okay, or social media would be fine but in my case i'm gonna just go with the contact and i'm gonna also provide the active class to just the first one okay so we are now done with the navigation so underneath this div we are going to be writing a new section so now let me just write like a div with the class of section okay sections to be precise it's going to be like more than one section so the first section we are going to be giving a class of like about section and also visible okay and now let's just give them an attribute of data section it will be set to like about right here and now inside this section we are going to be just first of all writing h2 of about me okay and now let's just provide our images which will be like the first image um my profile and, and this kind of a grayish uh, kind of image and this one is um this one is without that grayish kind of gradient color so i'm going to choose the github one all right so i'm here and you can see i didn't push any code whatsoever i just have six repositories right now and some of them are hidden for now all right right click on it and copy the image address and now let me just paste it right here and you can choose like whichever kind of image you like if you have your own image so you can also provide that and here this one will be now set to like about image so now once we save there underneath this image now let's just provide or uh h4 h4 and here we are going to be just writing our name like Hossein web dev and you can write your own name if you want to and as a paragraph we are going to be passing this uh cringe right here so now let me just copy that and paste it right here and now let me just zoom out a bit so that we can just focus on our code a bit better and underneath this section we are going to be creating our uh, courses section so now let me just write a section with a class of courses and section okay and we are going to be also giving a data section of like courses okay that attribute inside there let's just write or h2 of courses or you know uppercase courses would be fine okay so uppercase courses and underneath that let's just write our anchor tag and now here inside this anchor tag we are going to be just writing or like um t 
team box right here so team and then we have a box okay so inside there you're going to be writing or image of or html code um html code so i'm going to just select that one and as alt attribute i'm going to remove that right now okay so now let's just write h4 of like html complete guide okay and now let's just get or html complete guide from and now i'm going to select this html and css the complete guide so let me just copy that for now and paste this link right here okay so now if you save that it will now format that and you know what we are going to be just duplicating that a few times so we are going to be selecting our anchor tag let's just select our anchor tag from this place to this place so now let's just duplicate that a few times the first one we have html course and the second one we have a css course and then we have a next level javascript vs code git and github and going the complete guide okay so now let me just change that bit and the first one will be section and then we have css complete guide and this one will be also okay this link and now let's just change this image to like um or css image and now let's just change this one to or next level javascript okay copy the link of it now let's just close that for now and paste the link right here and also change this html to or java come on javascript where is it all right so js and now this one it will be now set to visual story coder so i'm going to just write like vs code complete complete uh, guide okay and now let's just change this image to the vs code okay and also now let's just copy this link and paste it right here okay and also um let's just change this one to like git and github so i'm gonna write git and github uh complete guide okay and also change the image to be like git and github complete guide okay, now let's just copy that and paste this one right here okay so that's that and now let's just the final one will be for golang course so i'm gonna just remove that and write or golang uh complete guide okay and also change this to be uh golden complete guide uh let's just get our golden playlist from there and paste it right here okay so once we save that now underneath this section we are going to be creating a new section which will be just a links or social media so now let me just create this section let me just create this section with the class of like contact section and also let me just provide a data section and it will be now equals to like contact okay so inside there we are going to be using h2 of contact and also uh let's just get our social uh links okay inside there links and inside there we're going to be placing our first one which will be a youtube link so i'm going to just write like youtube and then let's just duplicate that a few times so we have or twitter account we have our udemy profile we have our instagram and also we have our github okay so i'm gonna just paste all of the links right here if you have your own social links so you can also provide there but in my case i'm gonna just paste like the first one will be youtube then twitter then we have udemy instagram and github all right so now i've provided my youtube link my twitter udemy instagram and github link if you want to provide your own so that's also cool but here are mine so now if you save that and now here you can see first of all we have this uh uh and allies then we have our image then we have a little bit of cringe then we have our uh courses so the first course second third and so on and so forth right here and then finally we have this contact section right here so now we are totally done with the html so now let's just get into our css and now let's just tie a little bit so the first thing i would do is i'm going to select everything and i'm going to just put a box sizing of border box and margin will be zero padding will be also zero underneath that we are going to be getting our body and inside this body we are going to be just using like a fam font family of sans serif and you can choose whichever kind of font you like and now background color will be just this blue kind of violet violet blue or what you want to call it and this is how it looks like right now okay so everything is looking a bit good now the next thing that you have to do is to get our container so now let's just get our container and width will be like 90 percent and margin will be totally auto 
and position will be relative. So now if you save there and everything is looking a bit, oh, come on, why did I click on the link? All right, let me just refresh that. And now here you can see everything is looking a bit better. Now the next thing which you have to do is to get our tab container. So now let me just get that and paste right here. And now let's just provide a position of relative to this one as well. So now if you just save that, and nothing's gonna happen because we just for a position relative to it so now let's just get our tab container inside there we are going to be getting our menu and links okay which is these links right here okay and now let's just style that a bit so we are going to be providing position of relative to it text align will be totally centered now let's just provide a little bit of padding of 10 pixel all around margin will be just 10 pixel all around i mean like top and bottom will have 10 pixel and left and right will have zero pixels so border radius will be just have four pixels so now that's that now let's just get or menu links and now let's just get or ul from it so you want to just remove that um, ugly ul list tile and we want to set that to none okay so if you now save that and this is how it looks like you know the next thing which you have to do is to get or menu links and also ul and now let's just get or ally which is these separate allies right here okay so now let's just write or display of an inline block to it and also padding will be just like add pixel top and bottom and 15 pixel to left and right okay and now let's just write a border radius of like four pixel and cursor will be pointer as always and font width will be bold and also let's just give a color of totally white and finally let's just provide a little bit of transition to it so transition will be 0 0.5 seconds so if you save that and this is how it looks like right now so now let's just write a media query for the first section so i'm going to just write a media and now let's just provide like max width of like 570 67 pixel and that's that and now let's just get our menu links in here and now let's get our ul li inside there we are going to be using display of block and width will be like 100 percent and margin we are going to be providing like top and bottom will be 10 pixels and left and right will be zero okay so underneath that we are going to be selecting our menu links and also ulli and we are going to be using a knot and then we are going to be using our last child okay so now let's just get there let's just provide a margin right of 30 pixel and now we are going to be using a class for um uh, for javascript so once we jump right into a javascript so then we can use that class so we already provide this active class right here here you can see that so now let's just select that so we are going to be using like menu links we want to get ul li and once or li is active and also let me just duplicate that and we hover over it so we want to get our background color and we want to change that to rgb of 12 9 and 9 and this one will be also 9 okay so color will be totally white so if we just save that and this is how our first pill will look like like i mean like the first um button will look like if we just remove this active class from there and we place it like here let me just write it active in here save it and this is how this one will look like and so on and so forth Okay, so I'm going to just undo, save it, and now here you can see we have our first spell right here. Okay, so now we are totally done with our menu section. Now, let me just write a comment in here because this is a lot of <laughs> uh, CSS. So we are going to be separating them by like menu, um, links, links, start, and now go underneath. And this one will be menu, links, and... Okay, so now underneath that, we are going to be writing our um, sections start. Okay, so we are now getting into these sections right here. So that's that. So the first thing I would do is I'm going to write a sections. Um, and now let's just write our section. So you want to get our section and you want to use this node. And then you want to use our visible. And now here, we are going to be just writing a display of none. Okay, so save it and it will show us nothing for now so now let's just get into the visible one so we are going to be using an animation for that so let me just get my sections and then visible 
and here we are going to be using animation which we are going to be creating in a second so i want everything to be like linear from top and bottom so that's why i'm writing this code so feed in will be the animation name and it will take one second so now let's just uh create this animation so i'm gonna write like keyframe of like feed in and now let's just uh, write from opacity zero and two we want to opacity one so seven and now this is how it looks like right now so if you just refresh that and this is how the our feed animation will look like and now let's just get our section like each section you know i'm going to comment this line of code from now we are going to be uncommenting there so that we can just see our section right here so we want to style that a bit so let's just get all of our sections and all the section which is inside this sections container okay so we have these sections and we have this section one to this place we have this section two from that place two uh i must here <laughs> but uh we have section two from or to this place and then finally we have section three right here okay so we have these three sections so now let's just tie a little bit so i'm gonna just provide a padding of like 20 pixel all around text align will be just set to center and width will be like um 80 percent and also margin will be just like 60 pixel auto and zero pixel okay and now let's just provide our background color to it is like uh f5 f5 not f5 but f7 and fa so that's going to be the background color kind of white color and then just part of position relative so seven and everything is looking a bit better right now so now let's just uh, style it a bit more so this is a bit better and now you want to make it to the perfection so it's it cannot be perfection by the way i'm just kidding but now let's just style it a bit so about section uh and we want to get this about section where is our about section let me just show you that so here you can see we have this about section class right here and we are going to be just using like a padding a uh, bottom of like 50 pixels so seven and this is how our about section looks like right now okay h2 from that a b o u t i guess i messed it up a b o u t all right cool now let's just get our h2 on that about section which is this h2 right here now let me just show you that which is this about me and now you want to style that right here so let me just write a padding of like 40 pixel all around and font weight will be bold and also font size will be just 40 pixels so if you just save that and this is how currently it looks like and now let's just style this stuff a bit you know what we are going to be first of all writing a media query for this section as well so we are going to be just writing like max width of like 576 pixel 67 pixel and now let's just get our about section of h2 and inside that we are going to be using our 20 pixel padding and font size will be just 25 pixels save it okay so if you just make it a bit bigger uh smaller you know what you get the idea i shouldn't have to show you everything because you're not a child anymore you already learned html css didn't you now let's just get our image right here and make it rounded and whatnot okay so uh i'm gonna get my about section and this about section we have this image right here we want to provide a width of like 200 pixel and also the height will be 200 pixel and object fit will be just equals to color okay not contains come on color and now let's just write our border radius of like 50 percent and margin bottom will be just 20 pixel okay so now if you just save that and now here you can see this is how it looks like but we want to provide a media query for that so media and once we hit our max uh width and now let's just provide like 567 pixel and now you want to get our about section you want to get our image as well so we want to provide a width of like uh 80 percent and also the height will be just like 20 percent and the border radius will be just four pixel so once we save that and now if you just hit a little bit of uh, lower media let me just get that so this is how it will look like okay all right now let me just make that a bit bigger so that we can just focus on it all right cool so that's that now underneath this section we are going to be getting our h4 which is this h4 right here which is this hosean web dev my name and here we want to style this one right now now let me get my uh about section and let's just get our h4 in there and also font come on font weight will be just set to like 100 and padding will be just set to like 
um 20 pixels to save it and this is how it looks like all right so now let's just finally work with all this paragraph right here which is this paragraph right here and we want to work with that all right so now let me just get that really quickly so we want our about section and paragraph and we want to provide a width of like 80 come on 80 percent and also the line height will be just like 1.6 and um let me just put a margin top to it to like 10 pixel and margin will be just totally auto and also the color will be just like um in seven zero um six come on seven zero six f and six f as well okay so this will be the color kind of a gray color and this is how it looks like right now okay so we are now totally done with that now the next thing which you have to do is that we also have to provide a media query just for that one as well so once we hit our max width of um 567 pixel so we want to get our about section and our paragraph and we want the width to be like totally 100 percent so now let me just make that a bit smaller okay so like so and this is how it looks like right now so if you just make it a bit bigger okay and this is how it looks like completely done with or about section as well so section slash sections or whatnot so now let me just get all courses um sections so sections and you want to get all courses come on courses all right courses and then sections uh, not section but just section which is this section right here like we have this courses section right here and now let's just format that a bit so we are going to be using overflow hidden okay so it will just like it will not take all of the entire space so if you just comment that out so here you can see that's kind of looking a bit ugly and this is our flow of hidden now let's just get our h2 right here inside these courses so we are going to be just using our courses section of h2 inside the padding will be just like 40 pixel and font weight will be totally bold and font size will be just 40 pixel as well so now if you just save that so here you can see the courses titles is now a bit bigger so we have this courses right here okay now the next thing which you have to do is also provide a media query for that so media will be like max and then width of like 765 pixels um come on not and 567 pixels and now let's just get our courses section of h2 and here we are going to be using a font size of like 25 pixel and also the padding will be just 20 pixels save it and now if you just hit our lower screen so this is how it looks like and by the way we didn't work with our images so this is kind of looking a bit ugly so this is how it will look like now let me just make that a bit bigger and now let's just get all of the divs uh, which is inside this courses section so we have this div one and this div two and so on and so forth so now let me just get our courses section and inside there we want to get all of the divs so you want to just provide a box shadow of like one pixel one pixel five pixel two pixel and totally ccc kind of now let's just write our text line of center and width will be like 45 percent and also the padding will be 10 pixel and display will be inline block okay so inline block and then we have a margin of zero auto zero and then 10 pixels and now let's just finally provide our margin of 20 pixels so now if you just save that and this is looking kind of a bit weird because we've separated our components right here here you can see that but we didn't change the images so now let's just make our images a bit smaller so um, we are going to be just uh, first of all selecting our courses section and div and images so now let's just select that and width will be just totally 100 percent border radius will be just like four pixel and then all also object fit will be just set to color okay so now if you just save that and this is how it looks like right now so we are totally done with this section but also provide a media query for that because if you just make it smaller it will look good but we want to change these to be like um you know i'm gonna add a media query and you'll see that let me just write a media query of max and then width of like 567 pixel and also let's just get our courses section and divs and let's just provide a width of like 100 percent 
and also margin top and bottom will be 10 pixel and left and right will be zero and this is how all of the divs look like right here okay a little bit bigger right here okay now let me just make that a bit bigger let's just select our titles right here so we are going to be using our courses you know i'm going to get there first of all um this h4 is right here so we are going to be just using courses then you want to get into a div and also select for h4 so padding will be just like 10 pixels so this is how it looks like right now and you know what let's just select all of the anchor tags and just change the color to be like um kind of this grayish color would be fine no it's not fine 777 it's looking looking <laughs> you know what i'm gonna go with the zero 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 pure zero and this is looking cool and also list not list style but text decoration will be now set to none okay so we have that dots gone right now all right so that's that now underneath everything that's kind of a utility class so that's why i put it above and you can also put it in here if you want to so now we are also done with our courses and of courses section okay so underneath that we are going to be let's just working on our team section here i'm going to just write like um start of uh courses section and now underneath there let's just use our uh, content section which is this contact section you cannot see that right now let me just make it a bit smaller so that we can see it all right so this contact section right here okay so now the first thing i'll do is i'm going to go to my sections and now let's just get our uh contact and section okay so inside there we are going to be using padding bottom of like 50 pixel right here so save it and it will now give us a padding bottom of uh, 50 percent okay 50, not 50 percent but just a 50 pixel now let's just get our contact section C O N T S C T. Let me just make sure that we are on the same page. All right, so that's why I'm missing here. Contact section. So now, if you save that, it will now give us this padding right here. Okay, and now let me just get my contact section. Inside this contact section, we want to get our H2, which is this H2 right here. Okay, and we want to style that a bit like padding will be like 20 pixel, 20 pixel, and also 30. Come on, 30 pixel and 20 pixels so now if you just save that and it, everything is a bit center and we are going to be seeing that once you click on this contact uh, button so you don't have to worry about the styling a lot um now let's get our contact section inside this contact section now let's just get our social links and now let's just get our a let me just remove that from there and we have this social links right here and we are selecting all of these anchor tags okay and now let's just write text decoration of none and also the color will be totally white and also the padding will be just like uh, 10 pixel top and bottom and 20 pixel left and right margin we would have is like 10 pixel and transition come on transition come on not try a timing function but transition all right there we go thank god <laughs> and now we get over 0 0.5 seconds so we cannot see that social s-o-c-i-l and S O C I L and links, links. Everything is cool, but we cannot see that. Anyways, now let's just get into our hover effects. So the first thing I would do is I'm gonna just uh, go to my contact section. We want to go to our social links, and we want to get our anchor tag. And once we hover over that anchor tag, uh, I knew I messed up something. So now let's just get our anchor tag in there. And now let me just save that. We still cannot see some anyway so if you just hover over through this anchor tag so you want to provide the opacity of like 0 0.8 okay 0 0.8 so now if you just save that and if you just hover over it we still cannot see i guess i messed up something now let's just get our second one so contact section and then social links and we want to provide a uh, first child come on uh first child now here as a first child we are going to be using a background background color of this uh, 1DA1F2 kind of a bluish color and now let's just change this color to 
let me just copy and paste it a few times and we are going to be changing that to like um a first child and then we have or and child come on not that one but and and th child of two we want to get the second one now let's just change the color to be like e8 and then o a54 okay so that's going to be that color so now if you just save that we still cannot see that links i don't know why what's going on come on we are selecting a courses section we should have select a contact section come on <laughs> now let me just select that. Writing a CSS can be a bit tricky. So you want to select a contact and now what was the class? Content section. So now if you just save that and now <laughs> here you can see everything in work the way we expect them to work. Now let's just change these to be uh in child. <laughs> and so I, I thought that I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something, but I can't figure it out. Like, what the heck am I even missing? So <laughs> instead of writing a contact section, I've put a courses section. Kind of a weird thing. Anyway, so now let's just change this color to be like a uh, blue violet colored. So um, blue, not blue. Come on, blue violet color. And now let's just get the fourth one. Let me just remove this one for the end child of four. And now let's just change that to crimson. And you can choose whichever kind of color you like. But I'm going to go with that. And finally, let's just write for our last child. So we have our last child. Child. And let's just change the color to be like um, 2A3. And then 6, um, 3B. Okay, so kind of this grayish color. And finally, let's just add our media query in here. So that if, let's, let me first of all save it. So this is how it looks like. If you just make it a bit smaller, so nothing's gonna happen because we're gonna write our media query in here. So now let's just add our media query a bit. So let's just write our media. And once we hit the max width of um, 567 pixel, so we want to just write like uh, get our uh, contact section and you want to get our social links and anchor tag. Okay, so display will be totally block and also margin will be just 10 pixels. So now if you just save that and here you can see this is how it looks like on a smaller screen and this is how it looks like on a bigger screen. So now let me just make it a bit bigger and we are totally done with this um, project right here. Not this project but uh, just a CSS side of code and now let me just finally uncomment this line of code which is just, um, alright, so this section and that not so now if you just on comment that seven and we cannot see our sections uh, or courses section and our context section so for that we are going to be using our javascript to do that so now let's jump into our javascript and provide our interactivity so the first thing i would get is i'm going to just style like um not style but get our menu list like a list and now it will be equals to document or query selector all because we want to get all of the menu links and also the uln on li so now if you just log there to a console like menu list and now let's just save there open our console so it will now use us three of them so the first one is active the second one is this li and third one is that contact one okay so now let me just remove that now let's just iterate over through this uh links so we want to get our li and each of the li we want to attach event listener on it okay so once we click on each of the li so we want to get our e and also we want to call this function. So the first thing I would do is I'm gonna just use like document dot uh, query selector all, and now you want to get our menu, come on, menu, and then links, uh, links like so, and ULLI, and now let's just get if that's active. Now the next thing which you have to do is that we also have to just iterate over through it. So you want to just use like for each method in there, and now let's just get our active L. Okay, so like elements, and now we have to call this function right here. Now let's just remove that class list of active from it. So now if you just save that, and this is how it looks like. First of all, let me just zoom out a bit so that we can see everything a bit clear. So now underneath that, we are going to be getting the target. So e dot target dot class list dot add. And now you want to put an active class on it. So first of all, we are going to be getting the li. So if you click on this li, so we want to remove this active class from the existing ones and we want to provide it with that. Okay. 
so that's there now let's just get our uh, section and section so in document dot query selector all and now let's just get our sections and inside this section we want to get all of the section okay so now let's just iterate over through this one as well so like section and now let's just fire our function in here and now let's just here we're going to be writing our if and else statement so um e dot target a dot text content content is equals to section dot data set and this come on now section dot uh, data and also uh, set dot uh, section so now we want to get our document dot query selector of all query selector all and in here we want to get our section and inside and then also the visible clause low like v i s i b l e now i'm going to show you that just in a second so here i want to iterate over through it so for each and now let's just get our element from there and now let's just remove our el our classes that remove or visible class from it yeah underneath that we are going to be just getting our section and we want to add this visible class on it so add dot visible okay so now if you just save that and if you click on the courses so it will not use us this courses page right here if you click on the contact so it will not use us this contact page right here okay so this is how it looks like and we are totally done with the project but now let me just show you this visible class in html which is mm, where are you let me just write visible here you can see we give this visible class to just the first section right here so here you can also see the data section right here which we have wrote right here so we have this data set right here so then we are iterating over through it so and we are just removing the element uh, the visible class from the current element and we are attaching it to a section okay so it's not like a hard javascript right here but it's just a bit tricky because i style it a bit uh, weird and we can also refactor this code like a lot but i think that would be fine for now so everything is working the way we expect him to work so here you can see we have like this handsome looking guy <laughs> and also we have this courses section right here and now we didn't push two courses <laughs> the the second one i didn't even launch right now but we also didn't push over 100 projects with html css and we didn't push our dev tools course as well so I have a lot of courses in mind which I'm gonna work through. And this is our social media. If you just go to YouTube, Twitter, Udemy, or whatnot, so it will just brings us to there. Okay, so I'm not gonna go in there. Anyhow, so I think we are totally done with this project. And I guess that was it about tonight's video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.